Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Allie's Amazing Scents. If you're new here, my name is Allison, your independent Scentsy consultant, and tonight I am so excited to share with you some upcoming limited time offers that Scentsy has launching on January 1st. And those items that I'm going to share with you are the Bring Back My Bar Bundle and the Valentine's Day uh, Bar Bundle. So let's dive in. I apologize for the um, the glare in the, the the background. I know it's not great lighting. Um, we had a situation with um, some flooding in our basement um, on Christmas Eve. Everything's fine, um, but I'm not going to be able to be in the area where my Scentsy bars are located for a little while here. So. It's all good, but I'm actually filming um, this evening in Maddie's bedroom, so uh, that is why the lighting and all is as it is. But <laughs> enough of that, let's dive in. So first we're going to talk about the three bars from the Valentine's Day collection, and then we'll dive into the Bring Back My Bars. So Valentine's Day collection launches um, Jan January 1st, and there's several items, um, but there's three bars. And you do have to get these in a bundle if you get them um, just on the normal website. You can also purchase them individually through your Scentsy Club. So let's start out here. The first one listed is Clementine Blossom. And it's this pretty orange wax. Mm. That's good, but it's light. I get the clementine with like a creaminess, maybe a little bit of floral, but it is pretty light. So this is described as golden citrus surprises pink nectar with a sugar blossom treat. So golden citrus, pink nectar, and sugar blossom. So we'll see how that one performs. It's probably going to be a smaller space type scent. Um, pink sunshine, pink sunshine is this pretty... Uh, light colored pink packaging and a darker pink for the wax. Ooh, I like that. That's fruity. Mmm, that is like a fun summery type scent. It reminds me a little bit of um, like Ruby Nectarine or that uh, desert one that we had. This is Lush Pear and Plum cozy up with cashmere and a glass of rose milk lush pear plum cashmere and rose milk uh, this is one I was a little bit worried about because of the rose milk but I don't get any rose from it uh, I wouldn't have guessed those notes I wouldn't have guessed plum or pear or really cashmere yeah that's the right one to me this is just like a fresh fruity scent and those scent notes make me think of more of like a bedroom scent. But no, this is really bright and um, summery to me. Pink sunshine. And then the last one we have is Starburst Sky. Uh, the name sounds like it'll be a fun spring summery scent. It's that pretty light pink, light pink wax. Ooh, this is nice. Oh my gosh, this is my favorite. Now this one has a, like a fluffiness to it, an airiness, sweet kind of marshmallowy scent. This is uh, Starburst Sky Sweet Apple, mesmerized by whipped vanilla and creamy coconut clouds against an amber blossom sunset. So yeah, it does have that kind of light cloudy kind of vibe that you have with certain scents. So apple, whipped vanilla, creamy coconut, amber blossom. This is so nice. Um, and it smells like it'd be a decent performer. Both of, uh, the first one was a light one. These other ones smell like they would be at least medium to medium strong. So Sunburst Sky is going to be my favorite out of the three. Followed by Pink Sunshine and Clementine Blossom. 
And we're also going to have these scents in pods. Well, two of them in pods and one of them in a hand cream. I hope it's a Starburst guy. Let's see here. We're going to have a um, Benny Boo Boo the Bear, the Scentsy Buddy. Um, a little gnome, Lit With Love Mini Warmer, that's not new. Pink Champagne Warmer, that is going to be similar to the, I think the Glisten Warmer, but it's pink. Pink Sunshine Travel Twist. Starburst Sky Pod Twin Pack. Oh, yes, Starburst Sky Hand Cream. This is going to be beautiful in hand cream. This would be really good in anybody, anybody scent. So... Um, I definitely am going to pick that up in the hand cream and probably get some pod packs um, when this launches on the first. The other thing I want to try is um, since he's releasing a fragrance flower for the first time that the oil in it is already colored. So it'll turn your flowers pink um, just by absorbing the oil. And what scent is that going to be in? Oh, we'll have a three pack of oil. I'll probably pick that up. I always love our little three pack oils. Um, pink sunshine, darling Dahlia. Okay. So I still will get it cause I, I do like that scent and I really want to try the new, um, fragrance flowers. So next we're going to get into the bring back my bars and I'm not going to really go in any particular order. Um, it's just going to kind of be how I pull them out of the box here, which hopefully that makes, doesn't make it too hard for looking up scent descriptions, but I had to rummage through the box. Um, and this doesn't list the scent notes. I'm going to pause it for one second while I find the scent notes. So give me one second here. Okay, I'm back. Um, and the list I'm looking at doesn't appear to be in an alphabetical order anyway. So <laughs> we'll just see how this goes. Um, the important thing is we'll get to sniff them together. Um, this is my first sniff on a lot of them I haven't smelled before. So let's dive in. And I am going to split this um, 25 bar bundle with a friend of mine. We uh, Last few Bring Back My Bar Early Access bundles we've split, which is really fun. And we usually are able to split it up almost perfectly with our different preferences. So. Anyway, the first one is called Crumb Top. I know this is in the bakery category, and I think, um, I've heard people say that this is a good mixer. Okay, yeah, I'm getting like a pretty basic bakery scent. Kind of reminds me a little bit of um, Oats and Honey, which was in a Bring Back My Bar not too long ago. Crumb top, the perfect blend of oats, butter, and brown sugar to top your favorite dessert. Oats, butter, brown sugar. So yeah, I definitely get like that kind of oat, sweet oat note. <laughs> and um, that's nice. I think it would make a good mixer. Is it club worthy on cold? No, but you know, you never know till you warm it. Uh, next one is apple press. I feel like I tried this one somewhat recently, a really old one that I had, and on cold it smelled like cough syrup, but then when it warmed up it was just a really sweet kind of indistinct um, fruit scent, but um, it was an old bar that had been exposed to a lot of elements. So um, apple press. Was that the same one as this? Because this smells completely different in a good way. This is um, not medicinal at all. It's basically like straight up apple. Kind of like Johnny Appleseed, but not quite as crisp, fresh crisp of an apple. It's nice though. Uh, the smell of crisp fall days, crunchy apples, juicy pears, and just a hint of the last roses of summer. So Johnny Appleseed does have pear. It also has um, apple, I think it's like apple skin, but it doesn't have any rose. And I don't get rose notes in here. I don't. That might come out more when you warm it, but I would have never guessed there was rose in here. So kind of like that one with the rose milk from the Valentine's Day collection. 
I don't get any rose in this, so don't let that scare you. Next one we have here is Autumn Stroll. I'm guessing this will be kind of a fall type scent, and if it's heavy on the cinnamon, I'm probably not going to like it. Um, Autumn Maple Blaze. Autumn Stroll. Okay, let's smell it here. That's not what I was expecting. Oh, there you go. There's a cinnamon. So the top, I almost get kind of a perfumey note. But then maybe a little bit soapy. Kind of like a fall potpourri. But then on the bottom, a very cinnamon forward. Um, so let's see here. Amble under a bright harvest moon. Leaves crunching underfoot as peppery cinnamon mingles with dusky plum and warm incense to create a spicy, comforting fragrance. So we have peppery cinnamon, dusky plum, and warm incense. And yeah, I would call it spicy. Um, I wouldn't use the word comforting, but if you like those types of scents, then it would be. Um, these are all available starting January 1st for the whole month of January. And you can purchase them individually or you can do bundle and save. Um, and you can add any of them that you love to your club. These were all the top uh, 25 voted back Bring Back My Bars. I probably should have led with that. But anyway. Oh, Vanilla Cream. I am excited to smell this one. I hope I can smell it. I hope it's not, you know, like simply vanilla where I can't really smell it. Mm. This is pretty light to my nose. Yeah. Dang. So this is described as French vanilla with a touch of coconut milk. And I don't know, this is super light to my nose. But sometimes I do have a hard time picking up vanilla scents. Um, I'm gonna... Uh, I'm probably gonna let this sit for a little while. Maybe I'll try one cube and then let it sit before I try any more, but I don't know that that's going to be um, a scent that works for me. Next one we have is Woodland Suede. Um, let's see here. Oh, Vanilla Cream was one of the ones that Dan Orchard picked, his top five. He's the interim CEO. Um, Woodland Suede. Sorry. Ah, it's the first one on the list, of course. Hmm. Again, a little bit of a perfumey incense type note on top. And a little more of that on the bottom. I was expecting something more woodsy, especially like with the packaging, maybe like a fir tree type situation. This is pretty good. Um, Tranquil Wooded Wonderland. Redolent with red oak, smoky cedar, suede musk, and bright winter lemon. Huh. So we have red oak, smoky cedar, suede musk, and winter lemon. I don't really get a bright winter lemon, but maybe that is what's kind of um, giving it that like almost perfect fume type, potpourri type scent, I guess. That's interesting. It smells like it'd be about a medium or so in terms of performance. Um, but I am excited to try that one and let you guys know. I'll probably try that out in my bedroom. Next one is Pear Blossom and Cucumber. Ooh, this was another one that I was excited to try that sounded really good. Um... Ooh... This is really pretty. It's fresh. It's kind of florally. Get more cucumber on the bottom. More of a fresh floral up top. Oh man, that's good. No, you know, maybe I'm getting the sweetness of the pear. Not a floral. Sweet pear and cucumber. I don't know. That is really good. Um, it's the blooming beauty of spring. A resplendent garden, nourishing with delicate pear blossom, rain-kissed jasmine, honeydew, and Meyer lemon. 
smooth by a splash of cucumber water. So we have pear blossom, so it's going to be, you know, lighter than just pear, jasmine, honeydew, and Meyer lemon. I like Meyer lemon. Um, I believe Twitter painted. That was an old um, Disney license scent, and that one had Meyer lemon in it. It's kind of like a fresh green scent. But anyway, this is probably my favorite so far. I better start a pile of my faves here. Next one, spiced berries. I don't know. I think this one has, um, I was interested in smelling it because it has um, frankincense and myrrh, but I think it's going to be too spicy with that name, spiced berries. I'm not a spice fan. Oh, yeah. Oh. Very, I'm getting like a, a red hot cinnamon. That is weird. Frankincense and myrrh waft beneath decadent berries to create a timeless scent. Doesn't say anything about cinnamon, but maybe that's implied with the spice note. So that would be one I am not interested in. Pima cotton. Uh, I am excited to try this one. This was a Dan Orchard pick. Uh, the name sounds fresh, but the scent notes don't sound like what you would expect for the name. Uh, so, okay, we have this light blue colored um, packaging. It kind of looks like, I don't have good lighting in here, but it kind of looks like the same color as like quiver um, packaging. Just that light pale blue. And then look, white wax. So love it when there's a different color wax um, than clamshell. Ooh, yes. Okay, this is cottony and fresh. Mmm. This would be so nice in laundry. It is somewhat similar to Clean Breeze, but maybe a little bit of floral. Like a little bit of clothesline maybe even mixed in with the Clean Breeze. So this is a light clean blend of lilies, freesia, and jasmine. That sounds pretty floral. Lilies, freesia, and jasmine, but you know, Frisian and jasmine are notes in jammy time, and that's a fresh scent. I don't know. I really like this, and I think it'll be a good performer. So that's going to go in my like pile. Autumn maple blaze. So orange color wax and um, like a yellow packaging. Uh, there's a couple with the name autumn in them. <laughs> Autumn maple blaze. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. This reminds me of a lot of different um, scents that we have for autumn time. I do smell cinnamon. Um, maybe a little bit like Harvest Blessings. Maybe a little scary good. I don't know. A bountiful harvest of crisp apples and earthy pumpkins with golden maple syrup, warm cinnamon, and a ribbon of smoldering oak. I don't get the oak. In terms of apple and pumpkins, those are both notes in Harvest Blessings in the current catalog. Um, but then it says maple syrup. Don't get a lot of that. I definitely get the warm cinnamon. So I'm getting mostly apple, pumpkin, and cinnamon. Um, I think it is a pretty um, good standard fall scent. Let me put it where you guys can possibly see it with this horrible glare. But I, it's not for me. So Next one is Coconut Pumpkin Pie. I'm interested to see this one. I don't know that I'll love it, but um, curious. That's not too bad, actually. Okay, I do get more pumpkin on the bottom. But that coconut actually adds a pretty nice touch. Pumpkin, I'm more of an apple girl than pumpkin, so pumpkin I'm kind of picky about. This isn't too bad, though, with that um, coconut. It's interesting. Fall's most treasured fragrance, which would be pumpkin, enjoys an unexpectedly exotic touch as pumpkin puree Grated nutmeg, okay, I smell nutmeg in there, and maple sugar 
maple sugar, are heightened by a hint of coconut shavings. So you have pumpkin puree, grated nutmeg, maple sugar, and a hint of coconut shavings. I would say a little more than a hint, but it's it's there, but it's um, not the dominant scent. But anyway, that's interesting. Um, if my friend doesn't want that one, which she probably will, I may get another bar of my own just to try. Um, next one is Peppermint Rush. I'm excited to try this one. Um, I like that wax, pretty red wax. Gotten more into peppermint this season um, than I ever have in the past, as well as Maddie. She's really, really digging peppermint scents right now. So this is Peppermint Rush. I feel like I've heard other YouTubers talk about this scent before. Um... Mm. Okay, this is pretty straight up peppermint, especially on the bottom. It smells a little creamier on top. The bottom is very peppermint. Almost reminds me a little bit of like toothpaste. Peppermint, sweet vanilla, and an accord of freshly fallen snow. So it's basically peppermint with a little bit of vanilla. Um, I want to try this on its own. I think it'll be a strong performer. This could even be open concept, um, worthy, but, uh, I, I want to try mixing it with vanilla bean buttercream to see if I can possibly try to recreate, um, the candy cane buttercream, which I've been doing some experiments trying to recreate that one. Anyway, that one's nice. And like I said, I think Maddie's really going to dig that one. Um, Next one we have is Flower Shop. This is a really nice, um, fla uh, what, what have I heard about this? I haven't smelled it, but I've heard that it smells like the stems of a flower. Or like if you walk into a flower shop and they have just cut fresh flowers and you smell that smell from the stem. And to me that sounds really nice. Um, but from what I've heard, it's more green than floral. And Patricia, uh, Patricia Gates has um, reviewed this, I think, in one of her Tester Tuesday videos. But I remember her saying that about this as well. Ooh. Ooh, I like that. And I do get a little bit of floral. It kind of reminds me a little bit of um, fresh cut grass, but with a floral note. Just like walking into a flower shop. That's a description pretty vague. That's nice. Um, not my favorite so far, but it's up there. So that's going to go over there. Uh, I think that'd be a decent performer too. Perk me up. Um, we have a couple coffee scents in this, uh, lineup and there's two of them. And I think this one is supposed to be more of like standard coffee, just not like a latte or anything, just coffee. Hmm. Mmm, that smells very comforting, like fresh coffee in the morning. Simply the most perfect cup of coffee you'll ever experience. A strong brew of Guatemalan coffee beans with just a touch of hazelnut. Uh, my friend that I'm splitting this with likes coffee scent, so she's going to like that one. Next one is Mediterranean Sea. Blue packaging, blue wax. Um... I think this one was out before I became a consultant, but when I was a Scentsy customer early on, um, I don't know. Let's smell it and see. I'm, I'm assuming it's going to be fresh. Mmm. That's not ringing a, a bell in my nose memory, but I really like it. It's fresh. It definitely has like a lemon or some type of clean citrus. Oh, that is good. Okay, <laughs> another vague description. Relax with this smooth, fresh, and breezy scent. I want to know what's in here. This was one of Dan's uh, top five as well. I don't know. That is dang good, though. Next one I have smelled. I really have liked this scent in the past, so... I'm curious to see how my my um, sense of scent has changed. Quiver. 
Uh, this was in a Bring Back My Bar a couple years ago. I have a friend who, this is her ride or die scent. She's obsessed with it, so she'll be happy to know it's coming back. But um, I know this was in the layer line, too, um, for laundry a long time ago. And it's just, if I remember right, it's just a nice um, kind of bedroom scent. So darker colored wax and packaging. Mmm, that is good. Mmm, this is a very unique scent, too. It is a little different than I remember it being. Remember, this was really strong when I had so many whiffs a long time ago. Washer whiffs. This lighting is just horrible. Um, innocent vanilla flower, warm sandalwood, and sultry tuberose in a seductive scent meant to cause a shiver of delight. So seductive is a good word for this. Um, so we have vanilla flower, sandalwood, and tuberose. I get like an earthy note in here. Yeah, and maybe that's a tuberose. So, um... I do like that one, and that's going to go in that pile. Um, on cold, it's not my favorite so far, but like I said, I've warmed it in the past and enjoyed it, although I do know that scent, note, scent preferences do change over time. Um, green tea smoothie. I am excited to try this one. Um, let's see here. Hmm. I don't know. It's nice, but there's like a sweet melon note or something in here. It's reminding me a little bit of like um, Amazon Rain. Now I'm not getting it as much, but when I first smelled it, it reminded me a little bit of like sea salt and avocado, and I don't really like that scent. Also, I'm not crazy about Amazon Rain, but this is nice. Um, I need to warm it to see what how that melon note, if that's what it is, is going to come out. So a splash of cool green tea against bright ginger, peach, nectarine, and cranberry. So they don't list melon. Green tea, ginger, peach, nectarine, and cranberry. I don't get any ginger. Maybe it's the peach slash nectarine, which are pretty similar. And then cranberry. I don't know. There's a lot going on there. Um, but I'm very intrigued and I don't dislike it. So I keep pulling out. Let's just uh, let's just move this over here. I keep pulling out bars and then, yeah. This is the other coffee one, hazelnut latte. Um, and I think this is more of like a coffee blend. Um, well, and it is called hazelnut latte. So... It's also a more creamier color than just the Perk Me Up. Ooh, that's nice. Mmm. That's definitely creamier. Almost smells like a vanilla bean buttercream kind of note in there. Ooh, okay, let's smell it next to Perk Me Up. Perk Me Up is definitely uh, just stronger coffee scent. And this is like coffee with a ton of the sweet goodness in it. I think I like this one better. Um, the light sprinkling of cinnamon on its light fluffy top gives you your latte the kick it needs to fill you with some much needed energy. So hazelnut latte, probably like a milk creamy situation, and then uh, cinnamon, which I don't really get. But that is a nice comforting scent. Next one is melon and apple granita. Okay, this one sounded good, uh, but we'll have to see what type of melon they are talking about here. So, hmm, that's nice. It's a simple, fruity, kind of tropical scent. Reminds me a little bit of um, Skinny Dippin'. Crisp Apple. Sweetened with melon, surge, and sparkling citrus, which I think all of those are kind of notes in skinny dipping with a little bit extra stuff. I'm not crazy about skinny dipping. I like the smell of this better on cold. But yeah, it's just a, a sweet, fruity scent, so that's nice. 
Um, next one is flirtatious. Uh, I think this is one that my sister-in-law liked. I think it was out a few years ago before I was a consultant, and I think she liked this one. Um, oh, this is another one of Dan's favorites. Hmm, that's pretty light. That is really light. It's fruity. Maybe a little floral here in the bottom. But dang, that is really light. Fruity and vibrant. I don't know about vibrant. The com combination of green apple, grapefruit, and white amber. And that sounds like a really good combo. Green apple, grapefruit, and white amber. I just can barely smell it. So... Um, the next one we have here, ooh, I'm excited about this one, Coconut Palm. Um, let's see here, do, do, do. I think this was just like a basic coconut scent, if I remember. Coconut Pumpkin Pie, Coconut Palm, okay. So, we have, just like a coconut, the brown outer part and the white inner part. Isn't that fun? Yep, that's, uh, I don't know. I was going to say it's pretty generic coconut, but no. There's something else in here. Something earthy, but kind of off-putting. No, it's throwing me off. What is that? A blend of tropical coconut and musky patchouli with subtle green notes. Tropical coconut, musky patchouli, and subtle green notes. I usually like patchouli, but maybe it's just comes off weird mixed with the coconut. I don't get any green notes. I don't know. There's something off-putting on cold with this. I will give it a try, most likely. Um, cause you never know until you try it, but huh? Yeah. Not what I was expecting. Rum raisin cookie. Um, so this is, I'm assuming going to be in the, um, bakery category. It doesn't say categories on here, but, um, I feel like I've heard people talk about this one and have good things to say about it in terms of bakery. If I could find it here. Okay, so we have similar coloring. It smells like an oatmeal raisin cookie, but spicier. Do you put cinnamon in oatmeal raisin cookies? That's what you get. I do get more of the raisin note on top, but man, that's definitely got some cinnamon in it. Um, freshly baked cookie dough. I don't know what that word is. Spiced with rum, raisin, and clove. That's what I'm smelling. Um, transport you to the corner bakery. So, rum, raisin, and clove. Not for me. I think a lot of people are going to like it, though. And it's a good time of year for that to come out. It's more of a, you know, cold weather type scent for sure. Okay, we have four left. Next one I actually did recently smell. Um, cranberry muffin. I got one of these in a D stash and um, different colors again. I actually didn't really like it. At first it was okay. I mean, first it was good, but then it was just kind of like um, okay and it didn't really wow me. Um, so, Unless she doesn't want this one, I think I think I'm okay with not getting another one. Yeah, it smells like the one I warmed a couple months ago. I don't know. There's a note in here that reminds me a little bit on the bottom of blueberry cheesecake, which my husband cannot stand. Interesting. Busting with bright cranberries, enveloped with buttery brown sugar batter. With the nuances of walnuts and toffee. I don't really like walnuts or toffee. Hmm. I don't get that though. I get the blueberry 
and that sweetness, almost that little bit of like artificial sweetness that you smell in um, blueberry cheesecake. So that one's okay, but I mean, a lot of people love it. Sticky cinnamon bun. This is a great lineup for um, bakery lovers, especially people that love bakery with a little bit of spice in it. Oh, what are we looking at? Sticky cinnamon bun. <laughs> what in the world? Well, I'm guessing bakery. Again with the cinnamon. Even though it's not like a spicy cinnamon. Yeah, I don't. Mm -mm. Cinnamon and sweet icing with warm, nutty nuances. Didn't the last one say it had nuances? Yeah, nuances of walnuts and toffee. And this is warm, nutty, nutty nuances. So that's kind of funny. Next one is fried ice cream. This one sounded good, but I think it had cinnamon in it again. I think this was one of Dan's. Um... No, it wasn't. Um... Fried ice cream. Okay. Again with the cinnamon. This is lighter on the cinnamon, but... And my nose is um, probably more susceptible to smelling cinnamon because I'm not that fond of it. Vanilla and with a nutty touch along with cinnamon and caramel. So vanilla, cinnamon, caramel, maybe a little bit of a nutty smell. Okay, the last one I am excited about, and this is cucumber lime. Um, seems like I'm more excited about the kind of fresh scents going on right now. Probably because a lot of the bakery seems spicy to me. Ooh, this is nice. Mm-hmm. Mmm. A little bit like that cucumber one we had in the summer collection, but sweeter. That lime, the lime. Mm-hmm. Ripe cucumbers, tangy lime, and a handful of green leafy mint. That is good. So, I think I actually have six here in my pile. That is the way it worked out. So I'll show you if I was going to get a six-pack, what, what it would be. Um, Mediterranean Spa. Pima Cotton, Pear Blossom and Cucumber, which actually might be my favorite. That is so good. Maybe a little on the lighter side, but I think that's my favorite. Cucumber Lime, Quiver, and then Flower Shop. So a lot of green, fresh scents, one kind of more, I guess they called it sultry, but a lot of fresh ones that I liked in this lineup. Um, again, with I think pear blossom and cucumber being my favorite on cold, but we'll see once I warm these. Um, so watch for some reviews as I go through these and warm these, and since I can't access my main wax stash at the moment, um, just my melting baskets and whatnot, um, you probably will see me trying to concentrate on these a little bit more. So stay tuned for that. And again, all of this stuff is available January 1st. And um, let me know what you are excited to try. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.